Shalom, Shalom, Yasha Allah. All honor and glory to the Most High, our power, Yah Bashim Shai. Double honors to the elders that are doing this in righteousness, not for lucre gain, but for the love of their nation and for the edification of their own people. Uh, Shalom. All right, Shabrata Brother Ari, back with another quick video. Um, <clears throat> you know, I was just talking to an OT brother on Facebook. At first, I didn't know. Usually, I don't know really where their stance are. But they'll put like little posts and questions about certain things. And, you know, I don't argue. I try not to argue when it comes to the scriptures. I just put, you know, uh, through my understanding um, and what I've learned, I just put it to answer certain questions. Right. No debating, no argument, you know, none of that. So an OT brother basically uh, said, let me go to the actual um let me see if it's going to bring it up. Yeah, let me go to the actual post. Let me go to him real quick. This is the brother here. No hate at all for the brother. Love the brother. You know, you know, some of our people are just lost. You know, they're just completely lost. And some of them, you can't really help them. The most high just completely blind them where they can't see none of this stuff. Right. But it's all it's still a love. All right. We know through the scriptures when Yahweh Shai comes back, all this is going to be done away with. Um, you know, us looking through, you know, uh, you know, basically just prophesizing in parts and stuff that'll be all done with. So I understand that concept. And for that reason, I don't, that's why that's another reason why, um, that scripture alone lets me know, I don't need to be arguing with people. You know, you just put your stance on that. If they're willing to learn and the most high is really open their mind for them to really understand and learn, he will reveal that to them. Just like he reveals certain things to certain brothers. Right. You got some people and some brothers that have way more deeper understanding in the truth than on the brothers. Like there are so many brothers that are way more knowledgeable and way more wise than I am. When it comes down to breaking down the scriptures, you know, I'm grateful for the most high for even allowing me to be able to have the understanding that I have. Right. Sometimes I read a scripture and immediately he reveals certain things to me. And sometimes he doesn't. Uh, maybe he wants something out of me more uh, to be able to get that meat. Right. But anyways, this was something really simple. You know, the brother had this post. He says, why are people claiming Isaiah 53 is about Christ or Yahweh Shai? But verse 10 talks about him having a lineage continue. Right. And uh, let's actually go to um, we're going to go to the actual uh, scripture. Right. But you got to remember, you got to read everything in context and also keep in mind. And I'll, I'll get to the chat of what we were talking about. But you got to keep in mind, Isaiah 53 is about Christ, man. Right. You could see it, the precepts through the scripture. I even sent the brother um, and I'll show it to you just different scriptures that even talks about Christ in the Old Testament. Right. In, in the Torah that he believes in. Right. But anyways, we're going to go to Isaiah 53. If you start from the beginning, like I said, read the whole chapter. Strictly Christ, man. You go down to verse 10. It says, yet it pleased the Lord to bruise him. Right. He had put him to grief when thou shalt make this soul an offering for sin. Right. It says he shall see his seed. That's where he's stuck at. Right. Because we know Christ didn't have any child here. But what he's he errs not knowing the scripture. What he's not understanding is you got to go a little bit deeper to get that understanding of that one part. Right. I even offered to give him the full breakdown or anybody that is on the chat that wanted of Isaiah 53, man. Right. The of the 10th verse, the you know, 10th verse. You got to understand reincarnation. Right. You got to understand how the most high deals with with the spirit, not the body, man. Right. Once you understand that, you will understand certain parts of the scriptures when you start reading them. All right. But he doesn't understand. He er not understanding the scriptures, man. And I'm going to bring up the chat in one second of me and him going back and forth. Just basically proving our cause, basically not any argument. He wasn't argumentative. He didn't, you know, delete my post as of now. And I, you know, I did tell him not to do that so people can just read and, you know, let the spirit deal with them individually. But anyways, um, then he reads, it says, he shall prolong his days and the price says, and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hands, man. Right. And that's getting into the kingdom of heaven. The last part I just read. But again, you got to have that understanding to know who this actual scripture is, script, uh, verse, uh, chapter is talking about and that particular verse and how you can gain that full understanding on that, right? But for the sake of time, I'm not going to get into that in this video, but I do have the breakdown. If anybody has a question, I can definitely send it to you. But I just gave him like a quick chopper just to get right to the point. Um, 
Uh, so basically, you know, I came up here. You can see my, um, you can see what I wrote here. I said, I said, Shalom, Akim. I said, remember the most high deals with the spirit, not the body. Also, you would have to believe in reincarnation to understand Isaiah 53. I said, it is all, it says, it's also getting into the blessings in the kingdom of heaven. I said, inbox me, I can give you any, uh, it says, I can give, I said, I can give any one of you the breakdown on Isaiah 53, right? So I just said, you know what, let me just go right to the chopper and get right to the point. So I went to, but I, at this point, I did not even know that he was an OT only, right? Or Torah only. So I said, um, you know, I said, this is the same issue in Acts 8 and 27, the Ethiopian eunuch asked the, the same question, right? He was he asked Philip the same question. But anyways, in Acts 8 and 27, but let's go ahead and read it. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, and an eunuch of great authority under uh, Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, right? Who had the charge of all her uh, treasures. Now, this was a man with great standing, right? You would think he would know um, certain things about the scripture, about history and stuff like that. Right and had come to Jerusalem uh, for to worship, but let's. Uh, I just said, and I, I wrote here. I says quick cut about um, who Isaiah fifty three is talking about. I said verse uh, thirty five. Uh, I said Philip told him who it's about. You know wh who, which is Jesus, Yahweh shot. That's who he's talking about. All right, but we're gonna read that. We're gonna read eight twenty seven and thirty five. So I actually put the scripture here. All right. Verse 27, I just read that. Verse 28, I says, uh, it says, was returning and sitting in his chariot. Read Isaiah, which you know is Isaiah, Isaiah. It says the prophet. Then the spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to the ch his chariot. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the, the prophet Isaiah and said, understandest thou what thou readest? Verse 31, and he said, how can I, he says, how can I, except some men, right, should guide me. And he is, and he deserted, and he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. Verse 32, the place of the scripture which he read was he, this, he was led as a sheep to the slaughter. And uh, it says, and like a lamb dumb before his share, so opened he, he not his mouth, Right. This brother is the same guy as the eunuch, the Ethiopian eunuch, man, right? He did not understand this. He does not understand the scripture. And instead of him taking heed of what, you know, like what he's getting, the information he's getting and say, okay, little, you know what? Let me go study up on it. Let me do a little research on it, right? And just marinate on this thing and see, you know, if it resonates within my spirit, man, right? He said, nope. You know, it doesn't matter. NT, New Testament is trash. That's what he said. And I'll show it to you. Verse 33. In his um, humility, his judgment was taken away. And who shall declare his generation? Right? That's what I was talking about in verse 10. Right? For his life is taken from the earth. But again, if you understand the scriptures and how it works, regeneration, precept upon precept, you will get a full understanding of what that's talking about. Verse 34. And Enoch answered Philip and said, I pray thee, of whom speaketh the prophet this? So he's trying to say, well, who's this talking about? Who's Isaiah talking about in this line, right? Of himself or of some other man? So he's asking him, is it talking about himself or he's talking about, is prophesying about somebody else that's to come? You see, this is simple, man. This is really not that complicated. All right, in verse 35, then Philip, this is the key right here. Then Philip opened his mouth. And begin at the same scripture, right? And preach unto him, Yahawashai, right? He preached unto him, Jesus, because that's who the scripture is about, right? But the brother didn't want to hear it. Now, let's go to some of our responses. So he comes over here. He said, in Isaiah, the servant is Israel, not uh, Christ, and Yahweh only. So I said, okay, Ak, you erred not knowing the scripture. I just gave you, I said, the direct precept to Isaiah 53, I said, no problem, Shalom, right? He says, no, New Testament, they're only the most high, whatever. And I, I came and I said, you know, I gave him First Thessalonians 5 and 21. I said, give me a, a scriptural proof of how you came, how you come to your conclusion, if that's okay. Then he came, he said, the most high is the only true God, none else, which we, uh, listen, they keep arguing a point 
like a strong man argument, man. Like we're not arguing that the Most High is the is the Father, right? And He's the one that gets the praise, right? But we understand that Yahushua plays a big role in the process, man. Why is it that you believe about you believe the prophets that came and taught you certain things, but you don't believe that the Most High can create or have someone to to, to basically you know atone for our sins, man? Right? When in the in the days of old, our forefathers used animals. Why is it different that Yahweh, yeah, the Most High can use someone? Right? Most High can do whatever he wants, man. Whatever he pleases, he can do. Right? But anyways, I gave him that. I said, give me um, scriptural proof of how you, you know, came to the, your conclusion, if that's okay. And he wrote, he said, the Most High is the only true God. None, he keeps writing the same thing. I said, okay, you, I said, I said okay, um, you are OT only. And he says, I'm Thor, on, Thor, uh, Thor only. I, he says, I don't know, uh, know anything about OT. Old Testament, that's what I meant. But I wrote, I said, Christ in the Old Testament. So I gave him some scriptures here, all right, that shows Christ in the Old Testament. I gave him another one here. Um, let's get some more here. Then he wrote, he says, nope, stop the lion. Daniel 12 uh, and 1, Michael is the prince. Okay. And he says all lies. This is the second part to the scriptures I gave him, just showing you how it's shy in the Old Testament. So I said, okay, Shalom. Then he came, he said, so I gave you Daniel, saying Michael is the uh, prince that's going to take us from captivity and just, he said, just ignore it. So I wrote him back. I said, Daniel 12 and 1 has absolutely nothing to do with Isaiah 53. I said, I, I leave you with this scripture, not out of disrespect, but out of love for you. I said, brother, you have a lot to learn, as I also do. All right. I made sure I made that point because I also do. I'm still learning and I pray that the most high continue to, you know, uh, keep me humble and just keep my spirit lit where I can keep doing this work. Right. I said, repent because we have to say that to them, man, to the OT. When you don't believe in how shy, you, 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 <laughs> you're falling off, man. I says, but you are Torah only. So you might just ignore it. I said, I still love you. Repent and study diligently. So I gave him. You know, Hebrews 5 and 12, you know, for when the time you ought to, you know, be teachers, you got already know the scriptures, you know. Um, then he came over here. He says, New Testament is trash. Isaiah is about Israel, not Christ. So I came over here. I says, it's amazing how you are Torah only, but you are using Daniel, right? Torah is the first five books. Daniel is not in there, right? To defend your argument. I said, this is madness. But Shalom King... Please don't delete the conversation. Let people read it and make their own decision through the spirit of the Most High. And I said, Shalom. And he says, I never do how you guess, ignore. I'm saying, I know he was going to say how you just ignore Daniel. Uh, but again, he didn't address the first part that I said, how it's convenient for him. And he uses it for that. Um, like I said, it's no hate to the brother. Um, you know, um, a lot of this is just, just the lack of understanding, man. You know, just the most high, just not dealing with certain brothers on certain level. That's what it is. That's all it is, man. There's certain things that I don't know that the most high hasn't revealed to me too, man. Right. And a lot of it takes, uh, you know, takes time. Some of it takes just you just submitting to the most high. Right. And really, you know, getting into the scriptures diligently, man. All right. But with that, all honor and glory to the most high. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. All right, on to the next one. Kumi Asha'Allah. We still got next. Shalom, man. Shalom, Israel.